Hello, we have another Bible Japanese video. We're continuing in John chapter 2, verses 19 and through 20. And we're actually getting near the end. There's 25 verses in John chapter 2, so just hang in there. Verse 19. Yesu wa karera ni kotaite iwareta. And again, um, some of this stuff should be coming uh, familiar with, to you by now. Yesu is Jesus. Karera them kotai te iwareta and you've probably seen this a number of times already this te iu form so kotai te means answer from kotai ru iwareta is the uh, passive pass passive form i believe of the verb you to say so it says uh, and jesus answered kotai te and said iwareta to them and again, here are the quote markers we see a lot in Japanese. So let's see what he said. Kono shinde no kowashitara. So the, when you ever see a no connecting part, you want to take what's together as one a phrase. Kono shinden. So shinden is temple. So he's saying, he's saying this temple, direct object marker. So what are they talking about the temple here? Kowashitara. And this is a... Uh, Tara form or the verb kawasu to destroy, and the tara means uh, if. So if you destroy this temple, watashi wa mika no uchi ni sore o okosu de aro. So if you destroy this temple, watashi wa I, mika is three days, three days. No uchi ni means uh, within. So if you destroy this temple within three days, what soreo, this, talking about the temple, okosu de aro, and okosu means to raise up. And we saw this in the last lesson, this instead of this, the plain des form, or uh, they adding the de aro, and I believe that meant like volitional, the volitional form, that expecting to do something. So if you... Uh, destroy this temple, expect me to raise it up within three days. Verse 20. Sokode means then. Yudaijin tachi wa ita. So Yudaijin tachi are the Jews. And then ita again said. So then the Jews said, and let's see what they said again. Looking at the quote markers. And um, maybe I didn't go all the way to the end when I... Uh, took this, but I think it ends right here. Kono shinden o tateru no ni wa. So again, kono shinden. Saw this up above here. So this temple. Oh, so see with a direct object marker. Let's see what they're saying about the temple. Should you see a verb? Here we go. Tateru mean to uh, build. So uh, they're saying so building this temple. No ni means uh, like although. And here's a wa, the topic marker. So like, although in building this temple, what, yo uh, yoju uroku nin mo kakate mas. So this is uh, means uh, this character for four and ten and six. So in uh, forty-six character for years. So in forty-six years, kakate imas from. Kakaru means to take. This is like the te imas, like continuing form of the verb. So it's been taking 40, even though it's been taking 46 years to build this temple. Sore dano ni anata wa mika no uchi ni sore o tateru no desu. So again, here's this no ni. Although, you know, they're saying it took 46 years to build the temple. It sounds like they're still building it from this progressive form. Sore dano ni. Although, with that, what we just said, anatawa, you, mika, three, no uchi ni, again, within three days, soreo, sole means uh, uh, this or that, tateru no des, we will build it within three days. In this no des form, you may see it written like n des, and um, according to the Dictionary Bible Japanese, I guess this ending, it just 
kind of expresses uh, the fact is, or it's that. And uh, it's saying that in conversation, the no da, no des often becomes n des, like this. And in formal speech, male users use n da, and female users use no. It says it's uh, used when the speaker is expressing or asking, asking for an explanation about information shared with the hearer. So they're asking Jesus to explain what he means about uh, raising this temple up within three days. So that's verses 19 through 20. If you have any comments, uh, post them. Thanks a lot.